This is my uh, LG uh, Flatron 24 inch monitor. It's a, it's a model uh, uh, L26, uh, excuse me, 246WP slash BN. Plugged in, but when I press the power switch, nothing happens. It just doesn't come on. Oops. Well, I can't do this with two hands, but uh, take my word for it, the power switch, nothing nothing happens. So uh, I'm looking at this bad boy, and there's no screws, no nothing, a very tightly uh, fitting case. And anyway, I, I'm going to try to get this baby open and replace and repair or replace the power supply. So uh, so anyway, uh, we'll see. Okay, I think I found the key. I mean, there's no screws. But it looks like I can just take a screwdriver and go along the bezel and pry up the bezel. Of course, you have to be very careful to, to not destroy anything like I'm doing here uh, in the video. Okay, the bezel came off pretty easily. I, I just took a screwdriver and, and gently uh, twist around the edges. Now I'm trying to take uh, the main chassis out of the back uh, plastic. Now, I, 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 where my finger, let's see here, uh, you can see where I have the blue masking tape. There's an electronic circuit board that hooks up to the power switch. You can see the power switch, I'm pressing it. And that was kind of coming loose, so I took, put a little masking tape on there just to hold that in so it didn't come out and get damaged uh, during the disassembly. And I found that there's a, uh, right where my finger is, there's a little plastic tab right here that seems to be holding onto the frame. And I have a feeling that there's probably four or maybe a, six or eight more of these things and I just go around there and I should be able to get this out so let's give that a try. Well that came out pretty easily. I was a little worried about it but uh, there's just four points. There's like a point here, point there, a point there and a point there and I, I gently pried and uh, this baby came out. Now the thing to watch out for is the circuit boards. Remember the one I showed you with the blue tape earlier? I mean it was still stuck onto the the plastic part there so you can see that that would have stressed the wire so I did the tape it's right here and it has two connectors. We can take these things off. And you can see this connector over here. There was a, another circuit board for all the various uh, on-screen controls of all the little buttons. And I just disconnected that and got it out of the way so it didn't get damaged. And uh, well, that's pretty good. So now I just have to, to disassemble this uh, big metal uh, chassis here, find the power supply, and repair it. Okay, so I removed four little screws. There's a screw here, a screw there, and uh, two corresponding screws on this side. And now this whole big metal assembly will lift off. And if we lift off a little bit, we can see there's a bunch of cables along the back, which are fine. And then there's just this one cable up here. And it uh, looks like there's either a connector here or here. I'll see about disconnecting that, and then this whole thing will flip over. And uh, where would the power supply be? Well, power supply is back up under here. So I may, I'll, to, I'll look around for that later. Okay, I was having a little trouble removing that one connector. It's, it's an odd angle. So I've got a plan B here. And, that's, and I undid the two screws for here. And you can see the, uh, the inverter. I, you see, I can see these eight, uh, eight plugs here. Th these are for the, the lights that, that light up the back panel. So you can see this little connector here. These come right off. And I'll take these off. And that way this thing should come off a lot easier then I can get a, a better shot at that that main main uh, connector for the for the uh, the display okay with these uh, eight plugs unplugged this thing comes up very easily nice and easy to work on and I just uh, just gently pulled with my thumbnail and this uh, connector came right out I was going to try to do this one for some reason I, I just couldn't quite get it uh, I'm sure I could, could easily um, I don't want to undo this tape but uh, anyway that comes off and now the everything's free and I can easily repair the power supply now. So here we are we seem to have like a one one electronics board here and then the, this uh, electronic board here with all the power supply and probably some other stuff on here. I ended the five screws holding this down and it comes up pretty easily. Oh, take a look at the the power input circuitry of course here's the the line plug. Oh a fuse! Oh my a fuse! And, uh, well, that, that looks, it's in a holder. That should be easy to replace if it's the problem. Ooh, oh my gosh, uh-oh. 
I see some bulgy capacitors. You can see the top of these two capacitors here are bulging. And I'll have to check those out because uh, when this thing failed, it was kind of like a weird soft fail where it was having trouble coming on, having trouble coming on. Then all of a sudden, it kind of quit to where the LED doesn't even come on at all. So uh, first, of all, I'm going to take my little my handy ohm meter here and check the, the fuse. It's probably good, although it might not be. And if it blew, it blew because of these capacitors. And uh, I'll have to get the, the Dow key catalog out and spend a, a dollar or two and uh, get some capacitors. So uh, um, if, uh, if I repair this successfully, uh, I'll, I'll show that. And if I can't, this will be the end of the video. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I'm going to try Plan B. Uh, I was reading on the Internet. I saw some forum where somebody had this exact same circuit board. It was written in French, but luckily I used Google Translate. It's written in French. And he says uh, that he replaced the, the 5 volt capacitors, the ones I'm talking about earlier, and that magically fixed the problem. So I got my soldering iron, uh, some solder wick, and uh, there's the two capacitors right there. So oh, here it is. I'm not on, on camera. The, 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 there's the two capacitors right there. And basically, what I'm going to do is I, uh, I, I uh, you know, heat up the solder. Let's see. Here. Heat up the solder. Take the solder wick. You know, uh, it, it sucks up the solder. Take the capacitors out. And I guess they're uh, 10 volt, 300 and, or 3,300 uh, microfarad uh, capacitors. I'll replace those two. And maybe it'll fix everything. Okay, it's been a couple of days, and uh, DigiKey came through for me. They, uh, I got some uh, Nichon capacitors for uh, 81 cents a piece, and it was about a little two, two, two and a quarter shipping. And uh, yeah, it took about three days to get here. Not too bad. See, so I got these things, and and I wasn't really good on ordering them there. I, I, I you can see I got fatter ones than, than the ones that that came out there. I should have measured them, but as luck would have it. The holes here are, are just the right size. I mean, uh, are just the right size, so these things will fit perfectly. It was designed for these. It also has three holes for three capacitors, so I bought three of them, even though there's only two of them in there before. So we'll solder those babies in here and see what happens. All right, here's the finished product. And I just can't believe it. My beauty has come to life. And, uh, you know, I'm really... Of course, I picked the time. Uh, there it goes, finally. Uh, you got to see a bunch of black screen, but uh, okay. The important thing is here is here's here's the here's the, our, our fending little bulged capacitor. You can see the rubber coming out on the bottom and the bulge on the top. And even though the circuit seemed to work, for some reason it didn't work, or you know somehow it was maybe supplying enough current to turn the thing on, or who knows what. But anyway, this baby is beautiful. I I love this. Uh, this the, uh, this monitor it cost a heck of a lot of money, and so for less than five dollars it's completely fixed. And oh man, do I feel good right now! I, I hope this has been enjoyable. Uh, and like I say, uh, just remember some uh, basic tips: be really careful, work slowly, uh, always have like a little place to store all of your your uh, your screws and stuff so you don't lose them. Take your screwdriver and, and run it across a magnet. You know, I have like an old magnet from a speaker, and you just rub, run it across there so you have a magnetic screwdriver. And, uh, and, and I had the, my, my desk covered in cardboard. So then when I was working on the, this thing here, I didn't get all scratched up. So uh, anyway, uh, that's the end of the story. I hope you, hope you liked it.